What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I have a potentially big one for you, okay? I have a couple things I want to say to kind of set this thing up, okay? So follow me through. Basically, there is this uh, insider, okay? And uh, I want to disclose the fact, and it's not even disclosing like I'm hiding it. I actually have talked to this guy before. I've actually had him on my channel before. I've interviewed him. We talked about E3 right before E3 happened, okay? So I don't want that to, you know, I don't want that biasness kind of to come through or for anybody to think something that's not true. This His name is Roberto Serrano, okay? He's gotten things, and I'm, this sounds cliche and stupid to say, but it is very important. He even acknowledges, he knows he gets things right, he knows he gets things wrong, and he's absolutely gotten things right. He's actually called things very accurately and been ahead of pretty much everybody else I've seen on certain things. He's also been very wrong and just flat out things that he said have never, never come true, okay? That's why this is potentially a big thing, okay? He's also Spanish, so in the way that he tweets and the way that he writes, it's a little, it's kind of broken English. Uh, and that sometimes does confuse people because his wording is sometimes messed up and he'll have to like issue another tweet to correct things. So I know a big setup, but basically, as you guys probably saw from the title, I want to talk about Hogwarts Legacy. Now he was doing a Q&A um, a, a couple days ago on Monday, and somebody said, Hi, Roberto. I really like this session and your predictions. What is the situation with Suicide Squad Kill a Justice League and Hogwarts Legacy? When will these games be shown next time? And he says, Suicide Squad is still in development, and a big update may come out next year. Hogwarts Legacy is expected to be released next year and will be shown at the next events, not necessarily PlayStation. Fingers crossed. Now, a couple things to realize and recognize before we lose our minds, right? Is that a lot of these are mixes of his own personal predictions mixed with what he knows from the inside, okay? And he did a lot of these. So he did a Q&A. This was one question out of like 30 plus that he answered. I applaud him for doing it. And we'll have to see how many he gets right at the end of the day, right? Because if he gets like two out of 30 right well that's not a very good track record and he should probably not do these if he's going to get most of them wrong that's not going after him that's not you know really elaborating anything more than i just hope he knows what he's doing but again the way he talks if you don't and, and i'm not saying like i know him like he's my personal friend he's not okay but again i've talked to him before i've been following him for many years i've been reading his tweets for you know what i mean for a long time so if you it's the first time you see his tweet it's like well you know what I mean? Like, what I just read out doesn't exactly sound... It sounds weird, the way he says it. So, let's break it down. I'm going to skip specifically to the Hogwarts Legacy thing. Hogwarts Legacy is expected to be released next year versus, by the way, when he says Suicide Squad is, is still in development and a big update may came, come out next year. That, to me, indicates that at least whether he knows it or he believes it, he, he one of those... He thinks that Suicide Squad probably isn't coming out next year, but that Hogwarts Legacy is. So that's good in case there was anybody that thought maybe the game would get delayed till 2023. To be flat out honest with you guys, that thought has never entered my head. It never will. If it happens, I'm going to jump off a cliff and you'll never see me again. Okay, uh, but Hogwarts Legacy is expected to be released next year and will be shown at the next events. Now, again, that's not how you would normally say that line, but that's how he said it. Not necessarily PlayStation, although that means that it could be PlayStation. It doesn't have to be PlayStation, but it does mean it could be, right? And then he says, fingers crossed. Now, the fingers crossed thing kind of upsets me because that does seem more like he's really hoping, okay? And I will also say, by the way, I'm no insider, I'm no leaker, but I've been telling you guys that I feel good about you know it happening at one of these upcoming events the second half i mean we thought maybe it could happen at e3 if they did e3 but obviously they they chose not to but you know gamescom game awards and by the way those are the events we're talking about so when he says next events you have to go, I would say, in a sequential order, right, in chronological order, and Gamescom is the next bit. Now, well, here's the thing, like, Sony's State of Play, the rumored one, which is going to have at least God of War and Horizon, that one is rumored to be August 12th. Um, the issue, like, I want to believe it's possible to be there, but we don't know how big that event's going to be. We originally heard it was going to be really big, and then over time, that event seemingly is like, well, it's still going to be huge. Like, showing God of War, a new trailer, gameplay, Horizon, a new trailer, release date. You, do you really need more stuff, right? That's a really big event no matter what. So, you know, I mean, I kind of get it. 
Uh, I think uh, PSVR 2 was also maybe mentioned to be at it. So, like, if those are the only three things at Sony State of Play, I would still argue it's massive, even though in terms of quantity, it's not very high. You know what I mean? But I don't know if Hogwarts Legacy fits. Now, if we start to hear rumors that, no, this event is going to have, like, 10 games, there's going to be third-party games, there's stuff like that. If we start to hear that, my radar will start to activate. You know what I mean? So I, I'm I'm excited for that. But then, again, if you want to look further, you have Gamescom. Jeff Keighley, right? Jeff Keighley's done stuff with WB Games in the past. He announced Arkham City way back in the day. Now, that's one example. Or he also did Mortal Kombat. I, I don't know. I don't think he... Well, he's done LEGO Star Wars. I don't know if he announced it, but I know he did uh, the most recent trailer for LEGO Star Wars. That was last year at Gamescom. So he does have ties a lot of ties to WB Games. He likes, it seems like, he likes to show stuff of their property. So, could Gamescom be one? Yeah, I think it, it could. After that, it really becomes nothing. There's, we, uh, you know, maybe Sony does more. Maybe Microsoft does more from September through November. But then December is the Game Awards. So, I know it's annoying to say, because trust me, when I have seen people say it in past years, I got annoyed, so I assume you guys may get annoyed when I say it, you know, when we just say, well, look to the next event, like, oh, it wasn't at E3, Alex, do you think it's going to be at Gamescom? Well, maybe, like, I, like, the entire, th people asking that, people think, like, that whole path, me answering it, all of it's annoying, you know what I mean, because it's like, I, you know what I mean, just, just to be honest with you guys, like, we all just want the game, you know what I mean, I, I don't think we all want to ask me and then me to say, well, maybe, maybe not, and same thing with him, right, it's like, well, the next events, and he's, and he makes it plural on purpose where it's like okay well it very well may not be at the next one but maybe the second one or maybe the fourth one right because they're all kind of next and again the other thing to remember is it could just be his prediction which could be all which could be right or it could be wrong or he's just uh, like the whole thing is just a lie right he, he actually he's pretending uh kind of to know and he has no idea right those are all things well i don't th to be honest with you again i don't know the guy we don't go out to like brunch together but I don't think he, like, purposely lied, purposely put stuff out there that he knows full out uh, isn't true, right? Because he, he knows his credibility isn't, like, 100%. He knows people question him, so why make it worse? You know what I mean? So that's, uh, that's something that I think if you follow him or you look at uh, the stuff he said enough, that's the vibe I kind of get where it's, like, why make an issue that's already there bigger by, by, like, almost purposely sabotaging yourself, right? So, again, like, potentially big. It's kind of... You know, when I saw this, so I like I was watching this Q&A Twitter thing happen kind of in real time. When I saw this, I got excited because it's like, this is somebody that I, I do respect. You know, again, he's talked to me. He, he's a really nice guy. All that, like in terms of a person, he's a nice guy. So like, I, I like him and uh, I, I like to see him kind of backing. Not, not like he knew I said this stuff and he's like backing it up, right? But just to kind of have more people talk about it, I think it makes sense. I really do. I think it's kind of all the reasons we've talked about over the last coming or the, the the past few months where it's like you know although the game releases next year i think you can still show something you could show a new trailer you don't even have to show gameplay at this point you could show gameplay next year in fact i think that's probably what they'll do there's really nothing else you can do you're not going to give a release date this early out you 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 may do both you may do a trailer and gameplay but i don't really know depends on the situation right but you may just do a new trailer and uh honestly i think uh you know judging by what you guys have you know uh, like expressed to me before i think that would be fine i think a lot of people would actually take that i know i would so you know again is it lame to say look to the next events? Yes, because that's not very specific. Um, it, it's it's kind of ambiguous without trying to be right. All those kind of things. So it is annoying in that way. But you know we have always done that. Honestly, that's actually the mindset we've always had. Well, look to Summer Game Fest. Well, look to E3. Well, look to Game Awards. Well, look to Gamescom. I know it went out of order, but like you know, what I mean that's how we kind of do it. And uh, okay, now by doing it like that, you are bound to be right at some point. You know what I mean? That's the that's the tricky thing where, you know, even with me, I could say, well, I, I said it was going to be at this event. Well, yeah, but like I said, it was maybe possible it could be at a couple events. You know what I mean? No, actually, for Hogwarts, I had a really good feeling about that Sony event last September. You got the ones that were here before the game was announced. They would know. They would 
know that, that I'm telling the truth on this one, right? But uh, I, I'm excited. I'm excited. If it's not at Gamescom, if it's not at Sony's State of Play, as I've said, I look to Game Awards. I do. I would look to the Game Awards as the next time we would see Hogwarts Legacy. So we'll have to see what happens in August. It's possible we get it in August. And if not, I would then jump to December. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you believe him? Or maybe do you read into what he's saying differently than me? Let me know. As always, make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. Leave it a like. would definitely, definitely help. If you guys want to support us through Patreon or YouTube memberships, we have both available. Patreon links in the description below. The join button is next to the subscribe button. If you guys want to support us there, would obviously greatly appreciate it. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all on the next video.